think it will be Funny how money chains and whips make me feel free I'm starring in this bitch and yeah, I write the show Fuck the haters, I'm headed to that place you like to go They say what you fighting for, the game is on life support A Gary Comer just passed, life is short Yo, YouTube, what's percolating? It's your man, Mr. Fulmer Simpson back with another sneaker video. Real quick before we get things cracking, make sure you hit that gear button below and watch this in 720 HD. In 720 HD, these shoes look muta bella, muy perfecto. <laughs> before I get started, I gotta give a huge shout out to my homie Turk out in San Fran. He held me down on the RSVP for these. These only released at Nike Town. We don't have a Nike Town down here in Florida, so I was a little bit assed out and the homie came through big time for me. I appreciate it, Samurai Bow. So I'm really excited about these kicks. I actually debated whether or not to do a review on them just because there's already like 500 of them up on YouTube, but there's about to be 501. <laughs> I'm sure everybody is familiar with the Dornbecker Freestyle Collection. They've been doing it for the last nine years, and I think the first Jordan was in 2007. And every year they pick these different shoes and they have these kids from the Dornbecker Children's Hospital, they have them design these shoes. And man, they come out really dope, which is crazy because you wouldn't think 9 and 10 and 11 year olds could really just freak a sneaker the way they do. The proceeds from the sneakers go to the Children's Hospital and in the last nine years they've got like 5 million. And that's really cool, I definitely dig that. These shoes are official. Let's take a closer look and you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. Black Jordan box, but who cares about that? The kid who designed them, age 10, Oswaldo Jimenez. My man right here did his thing. Bang, bang. Quick moment of silence for the Jordan 9s because my man Oswaldo straight murked these. Okay, we're good now. Where do I even start with these? You see they blessed us with that fettuccine Alfredo leather on the upper. Very nice. And in case you were wondering, yes, this is 3M. Goldie Hawn stitching. Word to Amesel. Black street laces. No diggity. You got the Batmobile black mesh on the tongue. This is that Val Kilmer right here. Not sure how I feel about that movie, man. Val's enemy was the cable guy. I just couldn't get into it. Yo, how funny was the cable guy, though? No way. I'm on Steven's team. <laughs> My man jumped off Jack Black's back and straight shattered the backboard. Comedy at its finest. You got the fake gold eyelets. This is that gold you buy down on Canal Street right here. I had a gold chain just like this in seventh grade. A couple showers later, it was silver. No bueno. Pollito up top. A roast con pollo. Damn, I'm getting fat. <laughs> Nah, but this is his nickname. It means Little Chicken. And he got that name when he was a baby because he used to eat rice one grain at a time. Me, I used to eat it one bowl at a time. <laughs> when Mom Dukes put me up in the high chair, I knew it was time to do work. Straight demolishing food. You got the gold plated chicken feathers around the whole shoe and the back all the way up. These feathers are obviously going along with the whole pollito theme. In person, these feathers just look crazy. The detail is A1. 17 stitched into the heel because that's his favorite number. I wonder if his favorite player is Chris Mullen, like me when I was growing up. Shout out to Mully, straight out of Bensonhurst with one of the illest flat tops ever assembled. September 13th on the back side of the tongues, that's his birthday. Oswaldo Jimenez on the pull tabs in that old English font. This is that frosty old E 40 ounce in a paper bag font right here. Then you got the shiny gold jump man on both sneakers. These remind me of those fancy chocolates with the gold wrappers that are imported from somewhere like Paris. And when you're 9 or 10, you eat a whole box of them because you see it has 50% rum and you're trying to get drunk, but it never works. <laughs> yeah, I did that. Mom Dukes was not happy. The back of these is definitely fuego my ego. I hate to see you go, but I love to watch you leave. <laughs> you got the beer-colored insole. This is that Miller High Life brew. This ain't the Rock-A-Doodle-Doo cartoon. 
the singing rooster, Chanticleer, nah. <laughs> My man right here is ferocious. He's about his B.I. Throwing up gang signs, ready to get it in. He's trying to shoot the fair one with somebody. Black licorice, midsole. We already know how nasty that is. But yo, someone tell me why they started making black licorice jelly beans. Like, who thought of that? Now we gotta pick through them to make sure we don't get one of the black joints on accident. And trust me, a black licorice jelly bean will ruin your day quickly. You see you got a little ice cube over here on the side with the gold MJ. Oswaldo hit us with the icy bottoms with the red underneath the left shoe green underneath the right paying homage to Mexico gold jump man on the heels these guys are playing mano y mano right here MJ versus MJ for some reason when I was little I always thought about that what if you had to play yourself or fight yourself I used to be out in the park trying to shake my shadow never worked <laughs> overall these joints are cracky Balboa in person, they look even crazier than I thought they would. I'm big on details on sneakers and stuff like that, and just all the little details. Really glad I was able to get my hands on a pair. These sneakers are fresh. These are fresher than a cherry danish straight out of the oven at a German bakery on a Saturday morning at 6 a.m. Yeah, that fresh. So that is pretty much it for the review. Big shout out to Oswaldo Jimenez, did his thing on these. And just everything behind this whole Dornbecker thing is just really cool. Also, another shout out to the homie Bay Coast. I will put all his info below. Make sure you go check him out, make sure you show him some love. That's my man right there. If you like this video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button as always. And if you are not already subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscriber button as well. You will not be disappointed. I got a bunch of videos coming this week. You can also follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Mr. Fomer Simpson. So hit me up. Let's chop it up. And there really ain't too much else to talk about. So until next time, Mr. Fomer Simpson, out. Yo, my mom would pronounce this Polito by Oswaldo Jimenez. <laughs> Yo, you should, you should hear her ordering from Taco Bell. Can I get one quesadilla with a side of guacamole? <laughs>